Hi kinders, we're going to be working on our drops in the bucket. That means you need a few sticks, your scissors, a pencil, or a marker, depending on what you want to write with. And we always start with our name, but we only need the first page. So I'm going to tear out and keep these pages, eight and nine, somewhere safe because we're going to work on that later because we only need to do number seven right now. So we're doing drops in the bucket. Math level R number seven. And we always start with our name. So Mrs. Cito is going to write my name right here. Kinders, you are writing your name so neat. I'm so impressed. Every day at small group, I see how nicely you're writing your names. And Mrs. Barnes and Mrs. Henry and Mrs. Iris is telling me that you guys are doing an amazing job in their small group too. All right, it wants you to cross out zero. That's easy. That means I don't have to cross out any. So this one is done. And it wants me to circle three. So we're going to circle three subs. One, two, three. So we did the first two already. So let's listen for the pattern. Circle, circle, square, 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 circle, circle, square, square. Mm, I might need to say it again because I don't know. Circle, circle, square, 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 circle, circle, square, square, square. That's right. Circle, circle, square, square, square. Circle, circle, square, square, square. What's next? Circle. And then circle. I did that one. Let's see what number is missing. Zero, one, two, three, four. What comes next? That's right. A five. I'm going to count the hearts. One, two. And then I'm going to... Make sure that to match it to the number two, because there's two. There's one jacket, one jacket. Let's count the ducks. One, two, three, four, five. That means I have to match it up to the five. All right, so the first one is addition. Two plus one. Addition means bringing together. So if I have two and one more, how many do I have? Or I could count the dots on the dominoes because there's two dots here and one there. So one, two, three. So two plus one is three. Can everyone say two plus one equals three? This one is subtraction. Subtraction means taking apart. We're going to subtract. So you have three and I'm taking one away. So how many would I have? Or I can look at the picture. There are three horses and they crossed out one. So how many are not crossed out? That's right, two. Can you say three take away one equals two? Good job. All right, so let's look at the picture below. It's planting a tree. And so when you first plant it, it's a little tiny bud, tiny, tiny plant. So this would be one. And then it gets bigger, a little bit bigger, a few more leaves. So it'd be this one. And then it gets more leaves. This one. So which one would be next? Which one would be four? That's right. This one is four. And when it's all grown, you can hang a tire swing on it. All right. So now I'm ready to cut out my pictures and glue them on. So I'm going to only cut the dotted line. There you go. Can you see the whole thing? I want to make sure you can see it. I'm going to cut all my pictures. Okay. The pictures are going to be on the bottom. I'm going to put my scissors away. Take my glue stick. And I'm going to do one, two, three. Make sure my glue stick is closed tight so it doesn't dry up so Mrs. Cito can use it again. And I'm going to start with the number one. And just that when we're writing, we always start way over here. So pretend there's an imaginary star there. So that goes one, two, three, four, and five. And look, kinders, we finished our drops in the bucket. You guys are getting so good at these drops in the bucket. I bet that you can start your drops in the bucket and then come back later and check to see if you got it right. All right, Mrs. Cedar, we'll see you next time. Good job, kinders. Bye.